Good afternoon, everyone. It's Matt Mercer here, and I'm back as your host of Square Enix Presents. Today, we have a special E3 edition of the show for you, with new game announcements, updates, and exciting news from our studios across the globe. So let's kick off with the world premiere of a brand new game from IDOS Montreal. We hope you enjoy the show. I am so proud of you. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? Something that's a part of you. Like your name. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No! Rocket! So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. So we got fined. We appear to be 6,963 units short. I know, we clearly need a plan. If you see anything with claws inside the tracks, let me know. We got this. Tracks, throw them. No! Disrobe! Keep your pants on. Although it could be used as a distraction. Spence him up, Drax! Make your maker! We're all professionals here, right? Maybe we can work something out. Peter! You had one job, Quill. I did exactly what! Come on, no killing teammates! That's who! It's literally in your contract! I made no such commitments. In less than three cycles, all would be lost. The galaxy cannot be saved, Peter Quill. We can do this together! Fucking uh, great, Quill! Hi, my name is Olivier Prou, senior producer here at IDOS Montreal. For the past few years, we've had the privilege to work on our version of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and reimagine it into a single-player, story-driven, third-person action-adventure game. It's our own fresh take on the Guardians, and something that's really unique to our game is that you get to be Peter Quill. As Star-Lord, you're constantly in the middle of the action as you try to lead this band of misfits. But today, I'm really, really excited to have all of you join us on this journey, and you'll hear more about the game from our team behind this project. Right, let's do this. I've always loved Marvel's cosmic characters. Uh, growing up as a kid, I read them, enjoyed them, loved them. I uh, had the opportunity to write for Marvel on some of their cosmic titles. I went back with the help of Bill Roseman, the editor, and kind of cherry-picked characters from Marvel's past. The opportunity here was to build a team, but to make it all underdogs, so that the reader would think, oh my gosh, how is this team gonna survive? And that became the Guardians of the Galaxy comic, which we loved working on. I remember the first time that the Marvel crew came to Montreal, we were showing them the design of the characters, how they would look, and they stayed silent. I don't know if it's a minute, but in my head, it was a minute. I was like, oh my God, like they hate it. We realized how much that Marvel and Eidos Montreal share and have in common, and that we knew the Guardians were in perfect hands. Looking at the samples that Eidos were kind enough to show me, I think he's fantastic, and absolutely in the spirit of what these characters are. What makes the gameplay experience unique to me is no matter in what phase of the game you are, whether you're in exploration or you're fighting, the Guardians are constantly around you and you never feel alone. While you're the leader, the Guardians will also challenge you and make decisions on their own and you will have to adapt to it. You are literally part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. 
The decisions you'll make will have lighthearted to hunting repercussions, and the game will react to what you do and say. The more no killing teammates. Says who? It's literally in your contract. I made no such commitment. You are playing as Star Lord, and you're using your blasters and you're using your jet boots. Star Lord is really empowering. He's very agile on the battlefield. He can slide and over with his jet boots. Of course, he has his elemental blasters that have different powers as well. And on top of all of this, he can use the unique abilities of his guardians. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No! The story is about a group of misfits, the Guardians. In our world, they've been together for less than a year. They create something on a small scale that looks insignificant. And as they progress through the story, they discover that they created something really big that threatens the galaxy. There are a lot of very interesting villains in the Marvel franchise. And when you're starting to work on a story like this, you get to get your pick of which ones will make the best for this story. That gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well-known, but some that are also not all that well-known. What Ados is getting so right about them is capturing what it's like to be a misfit family. They're also bringing an amazing imagination to it. You're gonna see planets and characters that are gonna blow your mind. Interpreting it in its own way, I think makes it feel incredibly fresh and exciting. It's not a matter of trying to replicate the comic or trying to replicate the film. It's trying to take the medium you're working in and make the best version of Guardians out of that. They made it fun, they made it rock and roll. They delivered everything you would want in a Guardians game. Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. What about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always... Out on My us, figurines well. are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. And you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. The mock I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic mountains yeah, of Kakarantara. Sure. Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am well, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd! Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it. Cool. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf-9 are tied to the temperament of this ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. We're flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax! Just one minor adjustment! I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far! That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! 
We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. Jacket, all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. You are welcome, Feeble One. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Oh, whoa! We should have gone to Maku 4. I would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking Half World. I think I'm scared of some little. Black! It's not alone! Get ready! What are these things? They are amorphous vermin! Shoot first! Questions later! Drop them, Kabora! This won't hurt! Much! <laughs> Smash him off, Max! Meet your maker! Seal boys enjoying this way too much! This is the local fauna! It's about to be an endangered species! Proof! Hawk high time! Ooh. All you, Rocket! Time to go boom! I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Dead end. That's just great. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! <laughs> It'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No! Very well. Peter? It's okay. He'll land on his feet. Ooh. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of chogs! Scut busting ass! I am not familiar with these words. Order the beast to do its job. Fuck it! Come on, man! Ram it, fast face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, scud again. Hear that? Uh guys. I got it.
That is definitely in my top ten fortresses. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? I am blue. Oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing was looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him! You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Maybe Gamora's right. We should try selling Groot instead. <laughs> what? Really? This is an affront to democracy. I just think that we might need Rocket on the outside for this one. I am Groot. <sighs> yeah, we noticed. You want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I gotta. Drac. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing, like me, only uh, bigger. I am good. Not bad, not bad. Easy, big guy. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. We got this. Now we're going to revisit two iconic brands that are being remastered for modern platforms. First up, relive the classic games in the Final Fantasy series. And then get one more peek at Legend of Mana ahead of its June 24th launch. Up next, Earth's mightiest heroes continue their fight to defend the world in Marvel's Avengers. The team at Crystal Dynamics is excited to share the latest updates with you, including new mission types and a growing roster of heroes.
Soldiers, secure that super weapon at all costs. Cosmic energy is building up. Every second counts, people. Keep it moving. It's beautiful. Down, Monica. The world doesn't need vengeance. Aim will save this world. I will save it. There is no end to these crumbs. You don't understand what that cube is capable of. I applaud your efforts to connect with your roots, but as a man who has seen three Black Panthers fall, I must warn you of a few things. Many eyes follow the path you are about to walk down. They say I walk like a king, talk like a king. It is claw. Now it's time to give mobile players a quick look at some of the games that will be available in the coming months. Good evening, 426. Our intelligence reports a new threat to global stability. Their reach is unlike anything we have seen before. Following Agent 47's disappearance, you were selected because of your remarkable skills. Execution must be perfect. We will strike from the shadows, and they will never know what hit them. A sad and beautiful tale that echoes throughout eternity. The first mobile entry in the Nier series. Near reincarnation.
Today, the team at Platinum Games is giving you an exclusive look at the epic world of Babylon's Fall, featuring fluid combat, powerful weapons, and a unique art style. Built over a thousand years, it was meant to be a tower of dreams. But for a thousand more, it was seen as a tower of ruin. Persevering through fire and ice and the coldest of winds, eventually the tower became a symbol of unrelenting ambition. That tower's name is Babylon. Does the savior of Neo-Babylon stand among us? Let's find out without further ado. If I'm to die, then I'll die for hope, for what little hope there may be. Seen through the veil at last, have you? We're all prisoners of our subjective reality. Believe only what you see, and you like to end up seeing only what you believe. Not but two paths lie ahead. Ascend to the heaven above the tower. Oh, so, like this one now, before you. Now begins its tale of both hope and despair. プラチナゲームズは本当にあのアクションという部分に関しては世界屈指のデベロッパーだと思っておりますしあのニーオートマタでそれが証明できたんじゃないかなと思ってますニーオートマタのアクションをもっと楽しむためにどうしたらいいかって選ばれたジャンルがハックスラッシュでしたのでこのゲームのコンセプトは端的に言うとニーオートマタのアクションでハックスラッシュというジャンルを楽しむということになりますもちろん一人でも遊べるんですけど4人でダンジョンを攻略していくゲームになりますコンセプトについては、まあ、プレイヤーが、えーとまあ、途切れない目標に向かって、えー、とアクションを、えーまあ、追い求め続けることができるとプレイヤーは、まあ、ストーリーを追いながらダンジョンをクリアして上層を目指していくと入手する装備や素材を集めて自身を強化してカスタマイズしていくとゲームのスタイルとしては、まあ、オーソドックスなあのハックスラッシュという形ですねただアクションがスキルや強い力を引き出すためのトリガーになっているところが、まあ、ポイントかなと思ってますプレイヤーの背中についているビデオコフィーというのがかなり向き合いテムとなっています。まあ、それによって、えー、と遊び方とかカスタマイズの方向性っていうのも変わってきます。ハイファンタジー感というかその上品さというところはすごい意識してくれっていうふうに言われましたね。カープンチックにならないのか読むというか、まあ、リアルに本当に存在している人たちがいるかのような感じは意識しました。このゲームは運営型のゲームとして開発しています発売後も定期的に新しいコンテンツを提供する予定ですようやく皆さんに改めてこういった形で発表できたこと本当に私たちも嬉しく思ってますしまさにこれから開発の佳境になっていくのであの精一杯頑張っていきたいので皆さんも引き続き応援よろしくお願いいたします
Now let's check out the next major entry in the popular Life is Strange series, True Colors. The team at Deck Nine is ready to give you a deeper look at Alex Chen's psychic power of empathy. But first, here's a look at the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. Feels so weird to be back. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. What do you remember about us as kids? I think about us as little pirates, <laughs> running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. We are awesome! Come on, let's dance! Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> we both got scars and it's so hard to That's Rachel Amber. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Oh, good, you're here. Rachel saved my life. She was my angel. Something happened to her. We have to find her, Max. Holy shit. Max, what's going on? No! Whoa. I discovered I could reverse time. What is this? Whatever's going on between us is special. Step back before you regret it. Ben, Max! Then I realized I had a choice and the power to change everything. Arcadia Bay is on the edge of disaster. Time to change time. Whatever happens, I'll always have your back. Always. Hi, I'm Maya, also known as MXM Tune. I'm a musician and the singing voice of Alex Chen in the upcoming Life is Strange True Colors. I hope you enjoyed that first look at official gameplay from the remastered collection. As a longtime fan, I know I did. You can see the love and care that Deck Nine have put into remastering both Life is Strange and Before the Storm. This collection features improved character animation, lip sync, and visuals, breathing new life into these two beloved games. Back in March, we also revealed the next major game in the series, Life is Strange True Colors, a small town supernatural mystery. Alex Chen must uncover the truth behind her brother's death, using her psychic power of empathy to unravel the shocking secrets of Haven Springs. Today, we have a first look at Alex's unique power in action. Here's game director Zach Garris for more. Alex's psychic power of empathy is integral to the story of Life is Strange True Colors. It impacts every relationship she builds, and every decision she makes. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. For years, Alex has been unable to shut out the strong feelings of others. The fear, sadness, and anger of those around her, leading her to believe her power is a curse. In the wake of Gabe's death, Alex realizes the only way she can find the truth is to embrace her power. I can't believe this is happening. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. From the very start, you can use Alex's power to focus on brightly colored auras to gain an insight into people's emotions. Game was too young. Just too young. These valuable insights deepen Alex's relationships with the folk of Haven Springs, as well as sparking new dialogue options and events, as here from a scene very early on in the game. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. Alex has uncovered a secret that Mac wants to keep hidden from his long-term girlfriend. And now he is terrified that Alex will reveal it before he can talk to Riley. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. Mac's telling you a whole lot of I bullshit. Listen. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. But are we still together? Are you serious? I need to get back to work. Sure, Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. When Alex encounters a particularly strong aura, 
she can reach out to actively connect with that person's emotions. This generates a nova, a supernatural flare that transforms the world around Alex into a reflection of that person's psyche. In this altered, emotionally charged state, Alex can experience fragments of thoughts and memories to get to the root of their issue. But not every emotional crisis can be easily dealt with. Some carry a dangerous, even life-threatening amount of power. He's dead! I wish I were too. No decision is easy, and the consequences will be felt across the game. This anger could kill her. What if I could just take it away? Using Alex's power is the only way you can uncover the truth behind her brother's death. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? How far will you go in pursuit of that truth? The choice is yours. Alex's powers look so awesome. I have no idea how I'll make some of these choices, but I can't wait to play it with you all when it comes out on September 10th. Don't forget, you can pre-order Life is Strange True Colors now. And if you choose the Ultimate Edition, you'll also receive the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. And that's it for today. Make sure to follow the Life is Strange social channels for more. And now, we are excited to unveil a brand new title from Square Enix Japan. I'm here to kill Chaos. That's my mission. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Chaos has been waiting for us. You gonna make us go in there and find you? Guess we'll just show ourselves in. I only know one thing. I want to kill Chaos. I need to. It's not a hope or a dream. It's like a hunger. Thirst. Move aside! You're dust! You sure Chaos is here? Yeah, they can only squash monsters for so long. I hate doing pest control. This is the Shrine of Chaos. He's here. We just have to hunt him down. Feel the pain! The darkness is so thick I can taste it. This is it. No doubt. Die already! There was a knight who left on the same journey as you, but never returned. His name was Garland. If you could, I would be grateful if you looked for him. Chaos. I'll crush you! No when you're beaten! And who are you? We're here to kill Chaos. The Prophecy's very own Warriors of Light. Real. He always wore such splendid armor, with a helmet that was terrifying to behold. It's Garland! No. I become Chaos. Hmm? I'll leave you with a look at some of the amazing Square Enix titles you can play now, as well as those to come. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but... Just hit me with it. I'm gonna drop plate number seven. They're gonna do what?
It's all or nothing. No, no, of course I will. I'll call you, I'll call you. Thank you for joining us today. Keep an eye out for news about our next Square Enix Presents. I'm Matt Mercer. See you next time.